But what to do when we have to compare two three digit numbers? In that case, first compare the hundreds digit. If the hundreds digits are same, compare tens digits. And if the tens digits are also same, compare ones digits. Now, please tell me about ordering of numbers. Neha, tell me the greatest number among 85, 126 and 107. 126 is the greatest number and 85 is the smallest number. Very good. In fact, arranging numbers from the smallest to the greatest is known as ascending or increasing order. Also, arranging numbers from the greatest to the smallest is known as descending or decreasing order. Tina, our teacher also told us about even and odd numbers. Okay, then tell me, 15 is an even number or an odd number? Hmm, 15 is an odd number. Numbers that can be put into pairs are called even numbers and the numbers that cannot be put into pairs are called odd numbers. Very good. Now tell me, 84 is even or odd? Oh no, it's a large number. It will take some time to know whether it is an even or odd number. No, Neha. You can tell quickly whether a number is even or odd. To do so, just see its ones digit. If it is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, then the number is even. And if the ones digit is 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9, the number is odd. Now it's too late. I will have to go. Please, before going, tell me only one more thing. Ordinal numbers. Okay. Last means last. Ordinal numbers are used to tell the position of an object in a collection. In this picture, Observe the position of the children. The boy at teacher's table is first and the last girl is tenth. We write ordinal numbers as first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, etc. Okay. Bye-bye, Neha.